Hello everyone. This is another week of taking off some teak. Yeah, I know that was a bad uh, rhyme, but that's okay. Anyway, we're taking the teak tow rail off. I have the port side off. Um, I have to give Dufour credit. He built his boats very solidly. As you can see here, this whole track is screwed down every four or five inches and there's a nut buried into the teak. So most of them are just spinning and, and they, I guess they epoxied in on top so trying to get them out is a bear. Uh, they've just been spinning. But we'll continue at it. Bought some uh, heavy duty sole horses at the depot this morning. So I can put the mast on it because that's coming down tomorrow probably. I might have another video up later this weekend. But anyway, we have a lovely day here in Berks County. Been in factory to the behind me. Typical gray sky, but. There she is, with the rub rail going. Now we'll go over to the starboard side, and here's my setup. And that one's still on, so they're screwed in probably 20 to 25 screws per section, four sections. And these are coming off. Like I said, the mass is coming down tomorrow. This is just a quick little video showing everybody. I don't have to show you how to take them off the boat. It's just unscrewing them. But I just wanted to show everybody this here because I'm uh, I'm impressed with the quality so far of everything I've seen with the building of this boat. The, the, the surface, the top of the, uh, the sole of the boat, top side may be spongy delaminated with a foam core, but I'll tell you what, all the rest of the fiberglass is solid as sears. Um, anybody that has comments, I appreciate them. I will respond to all of them. Um, have a good one.